That's how that's how they did games. In the nineties. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This level. Uh, this is the construction yard. I don't remember them going to a construction yard in the movie, but here's a construction yard. And this is one of the longer levels in the game. This is like, you've got all that up there to climb, as well as a digger and a building. An educational building. This building will help you if you want to be an art student. As usual, avoid anything green on the floor. That video game trope of... Uh, the floor is made of lava, but it's not made of lava, it's made of slime. Which I am not very good at avoiding, apparently. So yeah, you gotta get on these automatic... Automatic filing cabinets. That, I don't know. Should there be a worker? Speaking of which, actually. They should tidy up, like, really bad. One, alright, if they can afford... That isn't... That isn't practical. That is, you can't get in the bottom one. I was gonna say, if you've got, like, automatic... Uh, automatic filing cabinet, so it just opens whatever you want when you need it. Uh, that means so they're rich enough to maybe hire a maid. Or a cleaner. I don't know why maid was the first thing that came to mind. Uh, a cleaner would be a more appropriate word. Anyway. This is a color mixing game. Yes. A color mixing game. You gotta stomp on these buttons. And... Mix the colors. To make other colors. Ooh. Now, even when I was four, because that's why I played this game, when I was four, I, I was still like, are you, are you kidding? Are you kidding? I did this in, in uh, color between the lines class two days ago. Is that what? I can't even remember what I did as a kid. Probably something along those lines. I went to help out at a uh, at a primary school one time, and it was pretty much like that. It was like they weren't they weren't learning. They were just coloring in things or uh, crying. Yeah. I kind of, it seems a bit pointless that four-year-olds even go to school. Now, nah, now, nah, I've got a, I've got a trick here, I've got a trick here. What you're supposed to do is if you press this, then this big, this big kind of digger thing, it kind of lowers down, and then you can get on it from the bottom, and then it'll come back up, and you'll be able to get onto the construction thing from there. Or you can just run along the side, and you don't even have to worry about any of that. It's not a little skip. It's not a little skip. It's a fun one. It's one that you fall off a lot because you're bad at the game. By you, I mean me. Anyway, this is I have I have horrible memories of this of this place. That's why. That's why I do, because I got lucky there, but many a time I have been knocked straight off this place by one of those falling on my head. Anyway, uh, climbing this thing is a pain. Now, was it here that... No, it was up one more, I think. There's another little skip you can do rather than just kind of going all the way around. You can, you can... Oh yeah, it's definitely the next one I remember now. I remember. Because that's when you get the... Whoa! Now these, these switches, what they actually do... Let me explain. There's like a lift that goes up and down. 
and if you press the switch the lift will come to your stop and then that's just an easy way up rather than climbing all the way up again because you do actually have to go down to the bottom of this and then up again as tedious as that sounds you do actually have to do that ah oh, it's waited for us so kind anyway oh jeez that's not gonna work uh, what you can do is jump from here and you don't have to go all the way around this level. It's easy. It makes everything... Whoa! You tried! Anyway, I'm gonna press this. This is the, uh, this is the last switch which you need. That will... because we are right next to the top. And now I'm jumping down because we can't actually beat the boss yet. That's why we got Mr. Potato Head's eye? I think it was his eye. Anyway. Slinky, uh, hey, I don't want to talk to you again. Ever. Don't want to ever talk to you again. No, Slinky lost his wrenches. Don't know how he lost them. Maybe they floated just out of reach. You know, his helium filled wrenches. I don't even know why Slinky needs wrenches or why toys are even building a building. That doesn't make much sense, really. Anyway, anyway, being the master of wrench collecting, Buzz saved the day once again by collecting wrenches. And got a peace plant token. And then, now, of this way. Gotta get a lot of coins on the way, actually, because there aren't many in this level. But Mr. Potato Head, he's right here. And we found his eye, and he has now let us use this, which launches discs, which are more powerful, and also they like home in on enemies, so they're pretty useful. They're like required, actually. That's what they are. They're required to beat the boss with. Uh, because boss is apparently made of a stronger material than can be burnt with a red LED on Buzz's right arm. Left arm. Right arm? Right arm. Whoa, I'm getting a little bit of... a little bit of lag. Oops. I am actually uh, emulating this because it's higher quality, or it would be if I didn't have didn't have my frame rate dropping to 20. Clearly, it can't handle the amazing scope of this level. See, when I look down, it drops. And when I look up, it's fine. So yeah, this is the boss. This big, horrifying red thing, which literally made me shit myself many a time as a child but if you just kind of like walk around then you don't even need to be scared because he blows up and dies see see I could have made a bigger deal out of that I probably should have it would probably be more entertaining but that's just that's a I'm gonna count that as like a trick you can do I'm gonna say it as it's just run away and Fire slowly, because if you fire too fast, you run out of discs. Because he's got like a cooldown on how often you can hit him. How many? I have 42 coins. That is not enough. I'm gonna have to find some from somewhere. Oh boy, I don't know where the coins are, but I know where the last guy is. He's here. He was on top of the wheelbarrow. And to get on top of the wheelbarrow, you were supposed to push this block over to the wheelbarrow. I don't even think I even did that as a kid. I think I was just a really crafty kid. And I just climbed up from, from here. And that lets you get to ham, but I don't got what ham wants yet. So I'm gonna get what ham wants here. Whoa! That was close. That coin almost, like, disappeared. 
That would have been bad. But I am still one coin short. <laughs> Let's get that guy. Wait, did I already get that guy? I did! God damn it! I'm still a coin short! Damn it. He should, like, let you off for that. Like, if you go to a shop and say you want to buy uh, a Wii, Nintendo Wii, and you go in there and it's like, oh, only ninety nine, ninety nine, and you have £99.98, which would be some hell of a coincidence that you were happening to carry around at least... Oops. At least, what, £4.98p in change? Rather than just having a hundred quid. But just in case. The store guy should be like, Oh yes, uh, well, I'll pay the 1p myself. And that's what Ham should do.